good morning, Bobcat, and happy a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News, coming to you from beautiful Tallahassee, Florida, at Buck Lake Elementary School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you and you may be seated bobcats today is wonderful wednesday march the 24th of 2021 and today is special area day one that special area day one hey we want to wish these bobcats a very happy birthday first of all we want to start with a special lady to us and that is miss Price. If you see Miss Price around today, make sure and give her a wave, blow her a kiss, give her a high five, tell her happy, happy birthday. We are so thankful for her. We also want to make sure and wish these Bobcats a happy birthday today. Hey, Troy Blackburn in fourth grade, it's your birthday. I hope you have a great day. Read a good book, Troy. Quentin King in first grade, happy birthday, Quentin. Jacqueline Malafronte, also in fourth grade. It's your birthday. We hope you have a sweet day, Jacqueline. And Paulo in Miss Convertini's class in first grade. It's your birthday, Paulo. Happy, happy birthday. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for this wonderful Wednesday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day, a high of 77, a low of 61 with partly sunny skies all day long get out and enjoy that beautiful weather let's check out what's cooking today in the book lake cafeteria here's the menu for this wednesday morning we're gonna have corn dogs cucumbers veggie juice assorted fruit now today there's only gonna be one food line running so make sure you use your patience and your manners to help miss shirley and all the nice ladies in the cafeteria out today Today is Wonderful Wednesday, and we are hopping into spring, celebrating the 50s and our own sock hop style day here at Buck Lake. I hope you're joining in at home as well. Make sure you send us those pictures. This is the first, uh, a perfect day to turn on some 50s music. Miss Young loves some Elvis Presley and bebop around the house and have a great time with it. Teachers, and parents at home, don't forget to send all those pictures to Miss Ryan and Miss Young so we can share those with everyone. I've got some fun facts about the 50s for you. Okay, are you ready? So, gas for your vehicle cost about 18 cents a gallon at the beginning of the 1950s. Today it's running about $2.90 or so. That's a huge difference. Alaska and Hawaii both became states in the late 1950s. Do you like Snoopy? Well, Snoopy and the gang were introduced to the world in 1950. Comics in the newspaper were a huge deal back then. Okay, this one is for Mr. Millard, if I've got his team correct. I'm sorry if I've messed it up, but I'm pretty sure he's a New York Yankees fan. And Matt and Will, and I know Ms. Schmidt is, I believe. So, in the 1950s, the New York Yankees were in eight of the 10 World Series that decade, and they won six of those. So if that's not your team, I'm sorry, but I was pretty sure it was. Here's one for Miss Threadgill and her gang. Disneyland opened in 1955 in California, and it was the only theme park designed and built under Walt Disney himself. Which he basically guided the whole thing. Beagles were the favorite dog of that decade. If you got a beagle, raise your hand out there. Uh-huh. And you could buy a car for about $1,500 during that decade. Now, you have to understand that most people only made about $3,000 for the entire year. So, what a fun decade. Ms. Young happens to love uh, this decade and uh, anything. 50s, when I was a teenager, I loved. 
We want to congratulate two superstar readers. Both of these young men read all 15 Sunshine State Reader Award books for this year. They passed all 15 um, tests and they met the principal's challenge. I happen to know one of them got uh, 100 on every one of his tests. Hey, Zachary Dewan in fourth grade in Miss Lindsay's Digital Academy class. Great job. I'm so proud of you. You met the challenge. And Ms. Young will have your necklace out waiting for you today. Dylan Fleming in fifth grade. Look at you got Go. You got 100 on every one of your tests. Dylan is in fifth grade. Fifth grade has been knocking it out of the park this year with our Sunshine State books. He's in Miss Baker's class. And uh, you did it. It's not too late, guys, to join that. We're waiting for our principal's lunch. I'll let Mr. Millard know when we're going to have that. And if you're working towards your grade level goal, that's 10 for third grade, 12 for fourth grade, and 14 for fifth grade. I'm just saying, if you get to 14, I would just go ahead and do it. We also uh, congratulated Jacob and Evan yesterday, who finished right before spring break. What a fun day today. I hope you have a great day. That's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a great day.